I freaking knew this day was coming, like I knew it. So yeah, Apple unveiled the new Dynamic Island and what tends to happen is, obviously Apple tend to sort of copy features and then improve upon them, make them better, release them a few years later. And then Android devs tend to actually like the way Apple's implemented it and so they go ahead and copy it over on Android, they make their own widget pack or they make their own app which sort of emulates the feature on the iPhone. So I came across this app the other day that isn't in the Play Store, but it emulates the Apple Dynamic Island on any Android device. So it works best with a hole punch display. So if you have a hole in the middle of your screen, that's gonna work the best. And basically the pill kind of expands out upon that hole punch and it shows you various information, which could be the battery percentage. So if you're charging up your device, if it's low battery, it will also pop up. Or if you connect any Bluetooth devices like some Bluetooth headphones, it's also gonna pop up with that bubble and then it's gonna go ahead and show you the battery life of your headphones as well as the fact that they're connected. So what we do have in the app is a toggle to change the dot size. So the dot size is basically that black circle that's around your hole punch. You can make it bigger and smaller. And by doing so, it will also make the actual dynamic island bigger and smaller. So I have it set to the maximum because I like a, a pretty chunky dynamic island. I must say so myself. And then you can also adjust how far away it is from the top of your display. So if your hole punch is slightly higher or slightly lower, you can go ahead and adjust that with this slider right here. And then the only other option you have in here is to turn it on. So there's a button right there, feature is on. And then at the bottom, you have a custom username. So if you wanna input your name right there, it's gonna pop up in the dynamic island whenever you connect your headphones that they're Matt Rob's headphones. Looks pretty nice, honestly, I can say this is very well implemented. And if they were going to add additional features, I would suggest adding the ability to put widgets up there, as well as obviously your notifications, because that would be really handy. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I will leave the APK file in the description so you can download it via a link and you can try it out for yourself. And I know some of you guys are gonna be curious about my wallpaper, and I'll also leave a link down there to get the wallpaper. So um, hopefully my iPhone comes a little bit early. I'm super excited to actually do a video maybe even a comparison between the Pixel 6a against the iPhone 14 Pro. Now I know it's not like a really fair comparison because this is a cheap device, it's like 350 pounds, 400 bucks against a $1,300 device. So yeah, it's definitely not fair, but it really does sort of uh, put in your mind what you're paying for when you compare this cheap device to something like an iPhone because that thing is like four times the price of this phone and I can guarantee it's not four times better. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys later, peace.